Greetings Metal Community, it's Roger back with another collection update. Um, do have six uh, original presses and uh, one reissue and a couple of newer stuff. Uh, in the background we will be enjoying this um, masterpiece of a thrash album. RG from um, Finland, One World Without the End. Came out in 91. This is a thrash, thrashter piece. A killer album. Uh, if you haven't, if, if you're into thrash and the more um, vicious side of thrash and haven't heard this album, you have missed out big time. Yeah, the reason why we're playing thrash is because uh, all of this is heavy metal and thrash. So um, if you are looking for uh, death metal and black metal, there won't be anything for you here. So yeah. First, uh, my uh, first um, 2023 album in the doors this year is uh, Transtorn from from Chile. You know, I'm a big fan of Chilean um, music. Uh, this is great thrash. Uh, it says on the hype sticker, which I'm not very fond of, but uh, you know, uh, pummeling, uh, complex pummeling thrash from Chile. Uh, Kind for fans of uh, Demolition Hammer and Forbidden. Demolition Hammer, not so much. Uh, Forbidden, yeah, there are stuff from Forbidden here, but also kind of the more vicious German um, early thrash. Uh, harsh vocals, not blackened uh, vocals. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's kind of fast, uh, up tempo, uh, pretty technical at times. I do have a poster as well, which is pretty cool. Very cool artwork. Yeah, so this is this is quality thrash metal from Chile. Um, short album, 29 minutes uh, of uh, kind of technical, slightly vicious um, uh, thrash uh, metal. And uh, yeah, as I said, there are some forbidden, but I would also put in like early creator and stuff like that into this. Um, also, if you know um, Apostasy from Chile, they do have this Chile sound, uh, because Chilean thrash metal does have a special sound. It, I think it has a little bit to do with their uh, kind of level of technicality that they um, infuse in the music, even though it's, it's kind of... Um, hard and straightforward thrash that you managed to show a uh, good musicianship and uh, bass playing and drums are excellent on this as well so uh, if you're looking for some thrash metal this year uh, this is uh, this is good good stuff uh, another um, yeah it's released on on um, dying victims I will try to be better at this, uh, you know, label stuff. Uh, the next one is uh, from the same country. This is um, Black and Trash, Alish, their third album. Uh, these have been uh, guys have been active uh, since 2010. I said Black and Trash, um, kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit like Death Hammer from Norway and um, yeah, Niflheim. Sweden and, and that kind of black metal pretty good stuff as well I do prefer uh, transtorned over this but uh, this is a this is a solid uh, solid album I haven't played it more than twice so uh, it's kind of a little bit too soon to kind of get the final judgment on it but um, I like what I'm hearing um, also came with this awesome patch so that's very cool to get into a vinyl. This was a colored. I think they only came on this gold. Santa labels here, and you know, uh, the, uh, all songs listed on the uh, other side. Yeah, so I mean, if you're a fan of Black and Trash, uh, go and check out Hellish. I'm sure if you're into. The Black Thrash you probably have heard of them already because, as I said, um, it's the third album and um, it's good stuff. Yeah, I should not do this on camera, but um, I don't care. It's my show, so I do what I want. 
and if you don't like it you can turn it off so over to some heavy metal um, I was kind of on the fence on this album because there was a bit of a hype or well, not hype it was a very appreciated album some lands with uh, dream killer yeah, pure heavy metal. I do get a lot of docking on this. I'm not sure if everybody agrees uh, on that, but uh, I do that. So, um, inner. This is a pretty kind of soft. I mean, it's it's heavy metal. Came with this uh, ultra violet uh, color. Uh, would of course want them to release something in black, but. Um, it is what it is, and uh, could have uh, done a dark, darker purple, so it kind of fit the cover better, but um, nitpicking. Sometimes I need to bite the bullet and buy uh, some uh, colored vinyls, because there's nothing else to get. Uh, yeah, back to the music. Um, I uh, do think this is a great album, but it's not a fantastic album. Um, it's kind of a little bit... Uh, soft in a way for me uh, and that goes with the vocals uh, I think the B side here is better than the A side it's better riffs uh, the vocal sounds a little bit better on the B side might just be me but um, I think it, the B side has the best songs on it uh, of course uh, Night Ride is kind of a ballady song that I don't like much I do like the first song it also has a killer, um, killer lead or opening riff and I have, as I said, the vocals could have been a little bit uh, grittier at some times, uh, not always, I mean, uh, but sometimes he, there are some riffs that needed some more, yeah, a little bit grittier vocals. Um, he has it on some of the songs, but uh, overall, uh, it's, it's a very, it's a good, clean vocal, so it's not a problem. The other thing is the drumming here is kind of, it's not boring, but it's kind of a little bit um, flat. Um, I would have wanted some more drum fills, and when there are drum fill, fills, they often come uh, at the same time as, as the guitar solo. So it's kind of uh, if the drummer had put the drum fills on another part, you know, it, it would make it more interesting. I would also say that the kind of cymbals and the tams are uh, way low in the production. Uh, so a little bit more tam work, a little bit more um, uh, sound on the cymbals would have helped this, but uh, that's kind of just nitpicking, but that's kind of stuff that that uh, takes away a little bit of this album, but uh, overall it's it's a very good uh, palette cleanser for me, and uh, sure an album I will revisit. Then we are going to a reissue of a, uh, I would say this is a classic. Um, you know, uh, cult, trash. They had released a new album last year, Blind Illusion. This is the uh, Sane Asylum. This has been on my want list for a long time, but I was waiting for a reissue. And um, Hammerheart did us a favor and uh, released it on uh, proper uh, color or non-color black. Black is the thing. Yeah, this is a great album. Kind of a little bit. Uh, it doesn't sound like everybody else uh, from kind of by Bayer, I would say. Uh, uh, really cool, um, cool sounding band. A little bit, uh, a little bit obscure, I would say, in the way they make the riffs. But uh, a very good album and. Uh, yeah, to revisit this was pretty fun. I haven't listened to this um, probably for, well, listen to some songs on YouTube uh, here and there, but uh, overall I haven't listened to the whole album in probably 30 years. This originally came out in 80, when was it? Doesn't say here, but um, doesn't matter, everybody knows this. Great album cool to finally get it into the collection another uh, that uh, now we're going into the OG stuff um, I've been looking for this album for a long time and this is despair history of hate uh, been kind of uh, yeah the price has been very high uh, you know, the original uh, 
inner that is actually fully lined, so that's cool. Uh, this came out in 80. Yeah, I would say 87, but I might be wrong on that. 88, yeah. So, yeah, uh, overall, uh, the cover is very in very good condition. I don't know how you can see it, but you have this is this kind of thin covers that was uh, normal for a good while out on um, Century Records, Mind Control Records, whatever. I think a lot of you know this. This is kind of a uh, underground release in a way. Uh, but this is pretty good stuff. Again, a little bit kind of towards forbidden, a little bit technical. Um, uh, I don't know about the cover. Uh, I ca can't decide if I think it's cool or it's a bit crappy. But um, yeah, did overpay a little bit on what I normally want to do with uh, OG or use stuff. But um, this, I was very happy with the condition of this and. Uh, um, it was worth the price. As said, I've never seen as good example for that price ever, I think, on uh, Discogs. And I picked up uh, Apocrypha, the Forgotten Scroll. This is a uh, US uh, heavy, heavy metal power, power trash, uh, 87 on Shrapnel Records. Uh, no inner here, uh, only your black vinyl on Rogue Runner. Uh, I don't know if it's kind of a licensed uh, stuff, but um, Shrapnel was a sub label of Rogue Runner. I don't remember. But yeah, another album in very good condition, and this was not pricey at all. So I'm um, very cool to have it. Uh, as I said, it's power, power metal, power thrash. Pretty, pretty good album. I did see somebody show this not long ago, so um, I don't remember who. I uh, also picked up this um, Welcome to the Metal Zone compilation from uh, uh, Music for Nations. I do have uh, the um, Metal Zone uh, part two in my collection already and always wanted this um, into the collection again uh, pretty good after a, a clean this uh, turned out very well as well I mean you have the Exciter, Merciful Fate, Q5, Wendy Williams, Tank, Megadeth, Wasted, Sabotage, Loadness you know it's full with a great great heavy metal so uh, very cool to get that this into the collection I didn't get a hand on a copy back in the days uh, I don't know uh, if it was available in Norway or not. Um, sometimes it was easy to get stuff and other times stuff was pretty damn. Uh, all these uh, OGs are from the same seller so I kind of bought some stuff that I kind of have on a list that I will pick up if it fits the shipping. Um, this is one Warlock, Warlock, Warlock um, Hellbound from uh, yeah, me and this um, the original inner, I of course changed it to a polyline inner sleeve, but um, yeah, 83 or something? I don't remember. Doing a very good job today. Uh, but yeah, you know, I love Dora Pesh, uh, voice and uh, this uh, first uh, era of Warlock, damn, difficult today, uh, is uh, fucking great, so I'm very happy to have this in the collection, and now I do have all the old um, Warlock Jeeves uh, on uh, original vinyl, so that's fun. Also picked up uh, this uh, Rage Secrets in the Weird World uh, third album. From 89 or 4th album, I don't remember. Not their best in my opinion, but it's uh, pretty cool. Again, I didn't pay much for it. Uh, the sleeve is a little bit worn uh, on some edge, uh, like around the um, edges of it, but um, the vinyl is, is 
good looking. There's a uh, kind of a uh, hairline going through uh, the whole album, but um, but it plays very well. So uh, and and again another that I cleaned up and it turned out very well. So um, yeah. I don't know if it, uh, if it looks okay, but um, yeah, another uh, noise original into the collection, which is cool. And you know, the early red stuff is excellent, so I'm um, very happy to get this into the collection, even though it's uh, not uh, my favorite rage album. And uh, finally, this is an album that I haven't heard since uh, it came out. Uh, I did have this on a uh, dub tape back in the 80s. Destiny from Sweden uh, with Atomic Winter, uh, you know, Swedish heavy metal. I don't remember the, the year of this either, so uh, again, probably like 88 or something. Yeah, the vocalist is not the best, but he, he has his charm. Uh, it is uh, heavy metal, uh, kind of slightly towards power metal in a way. I uh, dig the cover, I think it's very cool. Uh, this was kind of the only album that, uh, you know, it has a mark here and a bent corner and the vinyl was in, in the, you know, it was rated as near mint, but it, it sure is not near mint. Very good has been, had been, okay for this vinyl but um you know um one out of six is uh, pretty good when it comes to og presses so yeah that was uh, the haul i had uh, to show this time i do have several uh, yeah the mail has been um piling up uh, this week so uh, there will be more uh, updates um, uh, pretty soon i do have uh, some cds and some more uh, death metal to show, death metal and black metal, again in the background, RG, one world without the end. Go and listen to it, it's killer. Thanks as always for watching, subscribing and uh, the comments, uh, be sure